Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we are making a top-down shooter game. Previously we completed the player movement and shooting. The main task for this episode is to add enemies. The Global's Helper class received new property named Bounds. Those are the game window dimensions. Let's continue coding. We use the new Bounds property to place the player at the center of the screen. And to restrict the movement to the game window. Let's do a quick test. Good. We can start working on the enemies now. Our hero will be facing a horde of zombies. Luckily they are slow. The update method needs a player reference. It gets a vector aimed at the player and sets the rotation. Then moves the zombie. We add a zombie manager to handle them. It has a list and a texture. The initialization method will load the texture. We will need a method to add a new zombie. And a standard set of update and draw methods. Let's test it using the game manager. We initialize the manager and add a zombie. Then call the update and draw, and we are ready. The zombie is chasing our player. But just one isn't that scary. We let the manager periodically spawn a new zombie at a random position. We initialize the new variables. The random position method will pick a point around the edge of the screen. First it chooses the axis, generates a random point, and finally picks one of the two parallel sides. And we use this new method when adding zombies. Then we adjust the update, reduce the spawn timer and add a zombie when ready. Let's see. That seems more interesting. Let's try a real challenge now. Well, good luck players. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Do you have any suggestions on how to improve the game? Please, share them in the comments. We will continue working on this project in the future, don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.